Hello everyone, Etta here. I uh, realized yesterday evening, yesterday was Saturday, that's when I did my three videos, and um, I realized last night, because yesterday the first video I did was the scent of the month for September, and when I opened that box, I expected it to be the order that I had placed and found out that no, it was the scent of the month. Um, and then last night I realized, oh, you know what? I actually had one more video to do because my box did come in yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Um, but I was, I was just wiped. <laughs> I thought I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, so I was getting ready to go relax with hubby and I said, you know what? I have that, um, other box that I need to do. And I, I kind of, would like to go do the video and he's like go ahead you know uh, i'm gonna sit here and watch some tv or whatever while i do the video so i am here to do the video for the sensi box that came in yesterday which was what i thought the box was when i opened it yesterday so i'm gonna open this one um and again i believe i know what this is or at least i can't imagine that it's anything else because i don't have anything else coming at the moment so this should be what I was expecting yesterday. And here's the little slip and they put it right on the top. So once again, I'll pretty much cut through it. Um, nothing on back order. And yes, it is what I, ex what I was expecting yesterday. So I'll have some first sniffs to do. Lots of paper, lots and lots of paper. Okay. So one of the things I did, um, I don't know about y'all, but you know, we have a minimum shipping cost, right? So up to $80, it's going to be a flat $8 shipping fee. So most of the time there's things that I want anyways. So I always feel like, well, I'm, I might as well at least get to the $80 if I'm, you know, especially if I'm like at 65, I'm like, well, I might as well get something else and put myself right at the $80 so that at least I feel like I paid 10% shipping as opposed to 20% shipping or something. So uh, one of the things that I added to my order, which I kind of felt like I needed anyways, didn't need, but I wanted, let's say. Um, I got myself a three pack of dryer disc. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, uh, and you've seen like my club orders, I generally get as my half price item, I generally get a tub of washer whiffs. And um, I generally get usually the same scent or not always because I don't wanna have just that one scent. But um, one of the ones that I get is jammy time. I get that one a lot because I like to use that on my sheets and blankets and um, so, um, because I get washer whiffs as my half price item, I don't always have the dryer disc. And I like having, for me, those are the two prime pieces in the laundry line. I think their laundry liquid works really, really well. Um, but I personally don't feel like it imparts the scent, especially if that's the only thing you were to use. I don't really get the scent from it. Um, so I like using it with the washer whiffs but if i could only get a couple of things like i'll get the washer whiffs in my club is like my half price thing and then i like having the dryer disc i think the dryer discs do a nice job of keeping the scent going in the dryer so those are the two pieces i like to have um so hence getting the three pack of dryer disc so i picked up a pack of jammy time like i said because that's that's probably the washer whiffs that I buy the most of. Um, and then I found out that my husband, my kids didn't say anything. They use it, but they don't say anything. Um, but my husband said that he liked the black raspberry vanilla. So I started like, I'll, I usually get jammy time, but every now and then, especially since he has a club and I have a club and I actually have two, um, I'll put, maybe jammy time in mine and black raspberry vanilla in his, or I might switch it out and put a different one in or something like that. So <clears throat> I did pick up a dryer disc box of black raspberry vanilla so that he had, make sure he has some for when he's using the washer whiffs. And then when I closed my party order, the video, the last video that I had done, not the scent of the month, but the one before that, um, 
I had a small tub of washer whiffs because I wanted to check out the scent. And it was a scent that in wax I don't like. And it was Cloudberry Dreams. And I was very pleasantly surprised and kind of shocked that I liked it. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Um, but Cole Sniff, the washer whiffs, I thought smelled really, really good. And in fact, I was going to use it yesterday when I was washing a load of my clothes. Um, I only had a tiny, I had enough of one load left of my Fiji flower of washer whiffs, the little, because they only came in the little tubs, the little containers. Um, so I wound up just using that one because I only had like one, one load's worth left. And I remembered, um, well, I knew this was coming, but maybe it was the load before that. I was going to use the Cloudberry Dreams when I first got it, and I realized I don't have the dryer disc for it. So that's when I placed this order, and I added that to it. So I got the dryer disc in Cloudberry Dreams. And my goodness, that was like a long conversation just to tell you I got that. Um, I got it. Now I'm able to use it, and I will be adding the big tub of washer whips to my um probably my husband's half price um club order so that he can get the big one and then we'll have the dryer disc and stuff to use for that so i'm gonna do that and then the other thing i picked up i picked up two items from the glamour collection glamour you or something like that glamorous you i think it's called and the first thing i'm going to show you there was, um, I think there's going to be like a series of buddies that are released, but at the moment I think they only released two. And I was very drawn to Posh the Poodle. I just thought she was adorable. Um, fancier than I will ever be. Like she was, you know, posh, right? So she's just she looks glamorous kind of thing and i thought yeah i i would like to be glamorous i'm not going to be because i don't have the looks um and i don't have the energy to try to do that all that stuff to be glamorous looking so i'm gonna settle for posh the poodle to do it for me so here's the box for posh the poodle and top really cute and in case you don't know there's like perforations along the edges here so that you can do kind of like when you buy like a 12 pack of soft drinks and they have the little tabs that you can kind of push in so that you can grab it you can do that with these so that you can actually pull them up and there'll be handles for the box and that way if you have you know if it's for your child they can carry their buddy around with them in a box and take it with them on trips and almost be like they a little mini suitcase so I'm going to pull out, oh, even like the, um, look at that, even the um, design on the box is like posh, glamorous looking. So I just thought she was adorable. She has like a mauve pink kind of color. Oh my goodness. And her eyes are, have like a twinkle to them. They are, oh my gosh, she's adorable. Yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. All right, so here is Posh the Poodle. Let's see if you can see her eyes. Like they have like a, you know, like a twinkle in the coloring around the black part. She is adorable. She's got a little, uh, like a little, almost like a little bow tie, a little, and her, I guess maybe that's kind of like her necklace, her Posh necklace kind of thing. And her little sweater. Her arms oh they have like oh look that I'm telling you she's all posh she is adorable a little sensi on her foot oh my goodness the back of her even her little emblem is more posh than regular and I'm guessing yeah you can see right there is the zippered compartment even their little tab on her zippers a little pink piece on it she is cute. Her, her hair, her ears. Oh, you just, oh, little poodle, the little poodle. <laughs> I'm silly. Yes, I like to be silly, especially when it comes to doggies. I love my doggie. 
and she knows she's going to try to take this from me if I put it anywhere near where she can get to it. I, I like to have a, a little throw blanket on the chair because I find the I find the room can get kind of cold. My husband thinks it's comfortable, but I think I'm cold, so I like to cover myself with the blanket and then I'll leave it draped on the chair when we go to bed and I'll come down the next morning and my blanket will be on the floor or it'll be on the sofa on the sofa where she sleeps and I look at her like uh excuse you what are you doing with my blanket she's got her own blanket but no it's mama's I gotta take it so you know if posh poodle were there she'd be like oh mine so uh -uh. so of course you get a um ah you get a scent pack that you so that you could put in the zipper compartment to make her smell good. And at first I had, um, at first I was taking Cozy Cardigan as the the scent, because I don't know, she, she looks like a Cozy Cardigan kind of buddy. I don't know, she just looks like Cozy Cardigan would be her, her scent. But I, I changed my mind um, at the last minute. I was like, no. I think I already have Cozy Cardigan anyway, so I was like, well, if I want it, I can always use the one I already have. But instead, I thought, I don't know, I kind of want her to have a little bit of a fruity smell, just a little more lively kind of thing. So I actually, I opted for Totally Mini. I thought that she would have a nice scent and that would go really well in, in her... Um, can't smell it. Well, uh, well sealed. Tiny bit. I can smell tiny, tiny bit. But I don't know. I think that would go really well with Posh the Poodle. And I don't want to leave her on the table like that. She's going to get dirty. So I'm going to put her back in her box for now. I mean, even the way she gets in her box. She's so posh. <laughs> All right. So I spent long enough on Posh the Poodle. And the other thing I got, obviously, was the collection for the uh, Glamorous You. So let me get that out of the bag. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of glue on that. And yes, it did have the gel pack. Relatively cool still. And it came, I did get the whole collection, so because I bought the collection as, as a single piece, it does come in, ooh, it's kind of damp. It uh, comes in the organza bag, and it's not like a clear organza bag, it's one that has um, a golden design, like a gilded look to it. I think it's pretty, it makes a nice uh, gift bag for somebody. And hopefully the little card that says Glamorous You. I'm hoping that it has the scent notes because, you know, I don't have them. Yay, it does. All right, so I'm going to open this up and we're going to do first sniffs, my version. Because obviously you probably watched some other people's or you might have even sniffed it yourself. So you've either seen other people's first sniffs or had your own. Um, I'll be in interested to know what you think of the collection. So let's see. I'm going to do them in the order that they're on the list. So let me grab the first one. The first one says Born to Shine. I love the labels. I think they are very, you know, look at that. The way it kind of shines. You can see the shining of the jewelry and the nails on her hand that is really really nice that is a very nice touch to the collection it's a little simple details like that that you know are nice all right so born to shine says nectarine and pear blossom and i have noticed that other scents that say nectarine i have confused with peach so i think now i know this one says nectarine nectarine and pear blossom can't talk. Nectarine and pear blossom boldly take center stage. Ooh. While cashmere musk offers a warm, enlivening encore. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good. All right. So 
it's got kind of an orangey look to the wax. Now, I don't like, because you know I've been doing vendor wax, I, I don't like when they put glitter in it. But this is the one time, not glitter, but this might be the one time I would have liked some kind of shimmering effect in the wax. That would have been cool, right? To kind of go with the whole glamour look. Okay. The cashmere musk is what's making me have that effect on the wax scent. Because, oh my gosh, that cashmere musk gives it that beautiful kind of perfume perfumeness to it. Oh, look. I, I'm sorry. I was trying to turn the wax over and what caught my attention was I hadn't seen I hadn't seen the look of the inside of the labels look like this since the Aladdin collection. It's got the like silver foil on the inside. That's cool. Um I can see where the pour date is on it. I still can't read it, but I can see where it's at, at least on this one with the silver foil. All right. Never you mind. Let me get back to the scent, which is the more important thing. I can definitely smell the nectarine. And then, of course, the... Well, it says nectarine and pear blossom. I wonder if that's nectarine, like, do they mean nectarine blossom and pear blossom? Or do they mean nectarine and pear blossom, right? Like, I don't know if it's the blossom is for both or just one. So um, I do get like a floral note. And then that cashmere musk is an absolute perfume note. Golly, that smells good. I wouldn't say it's like, I wouldn't say it's for this time of the year. Like it doesn't have like what I would think a summery scent would be. And I don't, I don't feel like it's a fall scent. This to me is more of a beautiful springtime scent and or bedroom. I think, I think it's because of the floral. I mean, because if you look at, if you look at even our catalog, when you look at the different categories, when you get to in the fall winter catalog, what do you find in floral? Luna. They don't have like five and six different florals. And I think for the same reason, because florals don't, they don't have like winter florals, I guess, you know, they don't have like a poinsettia in the catalog or whatever. So maybe that's why they don't really have a lot of florals in the fall winter this is gorgeous all right I'm taking five minutes on one scent but that is really really nice I like it that one's going in my club and it'll stay there at least until I've had a chance to warm it and determine if it is that good um side note I warmed yesterday. I had said that I was going to let it sit for over a month and probably closer to two months. I had bought that bar of Summer Soleil, which was from the Bring Back My Bar. And I found that the first time it didn't perform for me. And so I said, I'm going to let it sit and see if it just needed to cure. I put it in here, which is a smaller room. And I put two cubes in, oh, I can't even point, that warmer and two cubes in that warmer. And... No, it really didn't perform well enough for me. Not well enough for me to keep it in my club. So unfortunately for me, Summer Soleil is not going to make the cut. I'm going to have to take it out of my club now. Um, but that's, you know, it might have worked for other people. Maybe my nose just doesn't pick it up. All right, so the next one on the list is Dazzle Darling. So let me find Dazzle Darling. Ooh, like the... Uh, I like the label. Dazzle Darling. You've got your pearls and your lipstick and your sunglasses, your earrings. Very nice. That um that with the pearls and the and the sunglasses uh, makes me um I think of the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um Dazzle Darling. 
Salted grapefruit. Oh, this is the one I was watching Metallica Mom and she was doing her um, sniff of the scents and she caught my attention because she said salted grapefruit. She's like, I thought people put, you know, most people put sugar on their grapefruit and immediately, you know, I think we all talked to the TV. Immediately I was like, no, no, I, I'm, I'm a salted person, right? I salt my grapefruit. I don't put sugar on mine. I did as a kid probably once or twice. And I don't know, it might have been my father who introduced me to putting a little sprinkle of salt on the grapefruit. And oh, I never turned back from that. But mm, love that. Salted grapefruit catches some rays besides sparkling coastal water. Uh-oh. I usually don't like their water scents. Sparkling coastal water and calming beach sage. All right, let's give it a try. Like the color. It, uh, similar to the label. Nice, very pretty, pretty kind of color. All right. Um, You don't get a tart grapefruit. I'm not getting a tart grapefruit. That's, you know, for a lot of people, that's probably nice. I, I don't mind tart grapefruit. Um, they may lose me on that coastal water. I think the water has that note that I don't like. I can pick up the sage. It's very different. I'm not gonna say that it's bad because it's it doesn't smell bad on at least on cold sniff. I do love grapefruit. I don't get a very like salty note to it, but I don't get a sweet note. Maybe if they'd put sugar on it, right? I find that salt enhances the flavor of grapefruit. It just, mm. um, I do get. It says sparkling coastal water which that sounds really weird because if you had said sparkling water that would have been one thing but coastal water mm. it may warm really really good um this is this is the iffy one for me so far i'm not completely opposed to it because it has it has a scent in there that just kind of keeps making me want to smell it like there's something good in here but then there's that yeah i don't know but there's something in there that i'm not crazy about but which one will outweigh the other i don't know you know it could be that whatever i'm not crazy about it might not come out when it's warming it might just be what i do like so we'll see i'm looking forward to it um keep it sassy it says is the next one so here's Keep It Sassy. Ooh. I like the color. Why do my wax bars look like they've been... Oh, I think it's the label just kind of coming off. It almost looked like it was bent. Okay. So anyways, we got some like stilettos looking on there on top of what looks like... I don't know. I would say books, but that would be like some really colorful, pretty books. So I don't know. Maybe she's just got fancy things for her shoes. Um... Some flower buds. I don't know if that's supposed to give you an indication of what the scent is like or not. Don't know. So keep it sassy. Playful sparkling lemon. Like that. Sparkling lemon too on top of that. Playful sparkling lemon brings out the sweet side of cherry blossom and sugar cane. Okay, now that sounds like me. Sparkling lemon, I love well, I love cherry, cherry blossom, cherry blossoms. I'm trying to think what cherry blossoms smell like. I know I've, I know I've had something that had cherry blossom in it and I've smelled it, but, uh, and sugar cane. So just don't put too much sugar because I don't like sugar in my, in my lemon. Oh, sorry. Color, kind of like the label. Probably too much sugar for me. The lemon doesn't really come out as much. At least not on the cold, not on the top. I 
I tell you what, I think I like Dazzle Darling, Dazzle Darling better. I, I'm not crazy about this one. Um, again, it might it might be the fact that you put sugar cane in it. The the lemon does not have like this vibrant tart, and then sparkling. You know, so having this sparkling bright tart lemon would have been great with some cherry. I would have liked that, right? If anything, would have been close to, closer to like a cherry limeade kind of thing. But uh, obviously it does say cherry blossom, but I don't know. Maybe when I warm it, it'll be better, but on cold sniff, if, if I was at uh, one of those markets and there was a Scentsy vendor there and she had all the different scents there and I picked up Keep It Sassy and smelled it, I wouldn't buy it doesn't it doesn't uh, wow me when I smell it I'm like eh, whatever um, the next one is sweet but fierce okay hopefully not too sweet let's see sweet but fierce and it's got like little uh, flower petals or flower buds on it and what looks like a fancy cotillion dress kind of thing I almost think of like a, a girl's pretty prom dress or or sweet 16 or something like that all right so sweet but fierce soothing pink jasmine and sweet violet get bold with a burst of crystallized sugar here we go with that sugar again we'll see because i'm thinking jasmine's gonna be sweet violet eh, it says sweet violet and then you add more sugar let's see hopefully oh here we go again okay so Kind of a purple label and then a kind of purple lavender kind of wax. Now this one seems pretty good. This one seems pretty good. Let's see if I can get this one out. Come on. You're almost there. There we go. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. But on the top, it smells good. That, that, hold on. That's just weird. I'm going to let it air out for a second. Maybe it's the violet. I don't know. I'm thinking it's the violet. Oh. Okay. Maybe, maybe it will warm nicely, but on cold sniff, especially when it comes out strong, right? When that very first sniff, when I turned it over and I kind of took a sniff, and that's why I said I kind of have to let it air out. This is this is gonna sound gross. I'm I'm sorry if it sounds gross, um, but I get I get I get the flower. I I get some sweetness, but I get some dung. Like you were at the zoo and you walked by the elephant area. It's not super pronounced, but my nose, that's what's, that's what I'm picking up. And I'm like, who the heck wants to smell that? That's why I think it, it's probably the violet. And maybe it's the way it's mixing with the pink jasmine. Watch, watch when I warm it, it's going to be like my favorite. We'll see. I don't know. Kind of weird. All right. <laughs> but I didn't throw you off on that one. All right. And the last one is called With Grace. And With Grace looks like it has a bottle of perfume. These labels are like 
detaching or whatever, um, a bottle of perfume and some floral buds on it. So with grace, which makes me think it's going to have a ladies perfume kind of scent to it. And this one says alluring gardenia blossoms and sweet pink peony dance delicately with hints of soft musk. Okay. That sounds like something I would like. I, I do like florals and obviously florals with the musk, you know, kind of to create maybe a, a pretty perfume. Again, the pink on the outside, kind of pink on the inside. Although that one, that one looks a little weird right there on the edge. Like, who knows? Perfumey, um, but more, more closer to a lady's body care perfumey kind of scent, right? Because um, you can have like body care items that have a perfumey scent. Um, oh my goodness. Not as much like that. I think that first one I smelled. Yeah, with the cashmere musk, that one to me had more of a psh, 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 you know, spray yourself up with perfume kind of scent. This one has a perfume scent. Um, and yeah, I could see myself. Oh, now I just got wax all over underneath my nail. Okay. Um, but almost perfume spray myself, but also perfume um, body wash or lotion or kind of like lotion more. Maybe it's the floral notes. Um, which, you know, the other one might have, did it have floral notes? Yeah, because I said pear blossom and nectarine. Um, still, I mean, I could see this as a perfume, but uh, the other one, okay. The other one, if it was a perfume, would be for a posh, sophisticated, lady and this would be for the up-and-coming younger girl right I mean anybody can wear any perfume but there are you know you sometimes you might smell a perfume and you think old lady perfume right because you think it's for the older generation um, and then there's some that you're gonna think oh my 13 year old 14 year old girl who wants to wear perfume this is what i buy her right or so sometimes you can think of perfumes as separated into age categories nice um kind of perfumey kind of body carish at the same time i would say my favorite was the very first one Born to Shine with the nectarine and pear blossoms with the cashmere musk. That one I would absolutely put in my club and try it out. Um, the others, I'm going to warm and see if I like them, but they don't seem club worthy to me. Just the first one. But that's my opinion, my nose, how, the sense that I like, preferences that I have. Um, I'm happy with it. I, I like the um, the expansion in the thought of the creation of this this collection. I, th I think it was something different, a little stepping out kind of thing, and I like that. Um, I you know if you've watched any of my vendor wax videos, um, I am. I really like like fizzy pop, right? So the sparkling kind of thing. So when I saw some sparkling here and there in the name, I thought, ooh, I didn't quite get like a fizzy pop kind of scent. And maybe you don't like that, but um, I mean, I do. But I, I kind of thought, okay, we were, you know, stepping out a little bit on some of the scents and I, I appreciate that. I, um, I would love to see Scentsy come out with their uh, coffee collection, right? You know, I've, that's what started me on the hunt for vendor wax was wanting to find some coffee scents. So, you know, if we can have a glamorous you collection, I think we can have a, um, 
whatever you want to call it, kind of coffee collection, you know, just coffee and tea and I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think it would be fun. I think different collections would interest different people. And um, I'm glad that they did this one. All the scents might not be what you like. They're not what I like. Um, but it's worth a try. And I enjoy that. So I'm happy that they did it. I'm happy to try them all and see which ones I like the most. Let me know if you got it, uh, what you thought of the scents. I, I hope that you didn't get that weird note that I got from, um, what was it? Sweet but fierce. Um, yeah, that was fierce. All right. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you're having a wonderful Sunday. Uh, I hope you had a great weekend. I hope that the coming week will be an easy go lucky kind of week for you. Um, it's going to be a busy week for me because it's time for payroll again. So I'm looking forward to the week though. I think it's going to be great uh, with every week that passes. We are getting closer and closer to some cooler weather, hopefully, and it'll be time to start really warming some fall scents, which I think a lot of us are probably anxious to start doing. So uh, until I see you again, enjoy your scents, enjoy your day and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.